Telehealth is becoming more accessible in Alabama thanks to the USDA, all to give people in rural areas quicker access to doctors. News 4's Michaela Simmons spoke with a psychiatrist on how this grant will help him help others. Dr. Esiri Essen is a psychiatrist with SpectraCare Health Systems. Day to day, he treats a wide range of mental health and alcohol and drug disorders. For him, telehealth makes it easier and quicker to connect with those who need care. Somebody in uh, Baba County, for example, they want to see us right away. We're able to reach them with telehealth services, even though we, don't tra we can't travel there right away. So emergencies like uh, suicide, uh, addition, suicide attempts, we are able to see them uh, almost immediately. Dr. Essence's advice is to lean on your family in hard times and not be afraid to call for help. Seek help as soon as possible. Family members should be out to um, help their relatives who are in distress uh, from mental health issues, substance use issues that these are biological issues. Some of them, most of them don't have control over. One place Dr. Essen sees patients is Midland City co-occurring. This program is expanding its telehealth services with this grant. It's a 16-bed residential facility that helps people with substance abuse or treating mental health. This service expansion is important to him and Susie Kingry. We want to make it available. It's got to be readily accessible and um, easy for them to use. Telehealth equipment, telehealth access is vital to ensuring that the individuals receive care where they are. The Alabama Department of Mental Health reports more than 43% of Alabamians live in rural areas, with many of those facing gaps in behavioral health care. Kingry is making it her mission to provide treatment and care to those in need. We recognize that engaging an individual when they need care, where they are, is critical in order to improve outcomes for mental health and substance use issues. If care is delayed, there is a less likely chance that that individual will actually walk through the doors of a clinic to get help. In Dothan, I'm Makayla Simmons, your hometown news leader. The grant is expected to impact more than 37,000 Alabamians.